Hi, my name's Miss Josie, and we're here with Detective Tap. Finally got to my, one of my main characters that I love to play. As a piggy main, you know, I have to play Detective Tap a lot of the time, and I, nothing makes me happier seeing a fellow piggy while I'm playing Detective Tap. Fingers crossed we get one in this adept journey. As always, I don't take in it any items, like no medkits, no, none of that jazz. Just for you new players out there to see that you don't need all the items in the world, just you know, time and patience, and you'll get the Adept someday. And I show you every match I play until it takes to get the Adept. We have to take in his teachable perks, which I must admit are very solid. I, I think Tap is a really good survivor, like, to get these perks. If you don't have him, get his perks, because they are really strong. Not the strongest, but, you know, they're decent. They're fairly, you know, good. So you start off with Detective Punch. A potential and aura reading ability. When a JR is completed, all auras are generate his chest and totems within 64 meter radius if revealed to you for 10 seconds. This is an awesome perk just for awareness of what, you know, maybe potentially stopping a free gen. If you need a med kit, you get to see where the chests are. If the killer's got totems that are hidden, you know, deep underground, you can see them. Awesome perk, very underrated. I do really, I have run Detectors Hunch many a times. Very solid perk. Stake out when getting close to the killer it fills you determination for each 15 seconds you are standing within the killer's terror radius, not in chase, you gain up a token up to the maximum of four tokens. When stake out has at least one token, good skill checks are considered great skill checks. Consume one token and grant the additional one bonus to generate a repair progress. I have always loved this pack, even before Hyper Focus, I used to run this pack a lot with like resilience and prove myself. It really gives you that extra little speed you need in really tough situations like. I have always loved this pack, it's always been very underrated and I, I tend to run this on a lot of my builds also. Tenacity. Nothing is stopping you. Your ferocity in dire situations allow you to crawl 50% faster and recover at the same time. Grants the pain while in the dying state are reduced by 75%. So we can just basically crawl and recover and we're super fast while doing it if the killer decides to slug us. This is going to be, you know, hopefully gets gives us a chance to get away from the killer if they leave us on the ground. I mean, this pair of Unbreakable is awesome. I'd love to see with the new Unbreakable changes. I think Tenacity may come in, you know, to some builds in the future. But I guess we'll have to see. But I will see you in the fog. Here we are for a depth tap attempt number one on the Raccoon City Police Department. I'm the police, so I should feel right at home here, but I'm not gonna. I haven't played this map too much, um, to be fair with you. Don't know my way around it yet, and uh, I've always struggled with this map, to be fair. Hey Hattie, how's it going? It's an only, huh? Oh god, he came hurtling around there like a mad lad. Yeah, he's gonna hit me over that, okay. Farming me for blood. What is this fresh hell? Oh god. <laughs> like I said, I don't know the new changes or anything. Oh, you're looking ugly, Oni. I was like, what the hell is that? Got some gamers over there. He's got sloppy too. Good choice for Honey. Okay, and he's just standing there menacingly. Bill, Bill, Bill. Alright, I might die up here. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> To be fair, I played absolutely horrible, but like I said, it's just not played this map too often. 
don't know my way around. I never have. I've always been completely lost on it. Thank you. On it. Oh god, he's down there being angry. He's an angry boy. I must admit, the sound design on Oni is absolutely like terrifying when you just hear him grunting and you know, it, it's it's terrifying. Sounds like some kind of big monster dude. Which he is, I guess. Oh my god, here he comes. So his red monsterness just peeking around that corner. I didn't trust that. Because he can move pretty fast. This detective's hunch, we've seen totems, chests, everything around the map. No worries, I must have reiterated, I'm not the greatest survivor in the history of survivors, they so I'm still learning how to play as a, a survivor. I make a lot of mistakes, but oh god. Like that. That was a mistake. Got Tinkra. Interesting. Bones. God, I really don't know my way around this map at all. Hey, William. Oh god, he's there. I don't like this guy, he's being spooky. Oh god. He's got oppression too, nice. Hey, Annie. He's doing a lot better job than what I was trying to do the only adepts that he's doing, but I'm sure he doesn't have the adept perks, I know that much, because he's got Tinkra, which makes his terror radius go to zero, once the generator is at 70%, and he's got oppression, or overcharge, one of the two. up this healing by the boon. He's on Hattie. I think we're dead. Oh god, I missed a skill check. Yeah, we're definitely dead. GG, mate. Oh, that was absolutely appalling, but like I said, I'm showing you every match. God, just how well I play it, how badly I do. I did very badly. <laughs> That's totally on myself for not knowing the map. Completely down pipped. That's not too bad. <laughs> I like that game's guy's game of tag. 
I would sit in and watch the rest of the match, but um, this guy played phenomenally well. So did the rest of the game. Sorry for letting the team down. Look at my points. Don't even look at it. I played absolutely atrocious. But anyway, we'll be here for the next Adept Tap attempt soon. If you like the content, then drop a thumb to you, give a bum jar. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you can see how well I do or if I do any better next time. I will see you soon.